good blessed Wednesday night, September the 16th, 2020, 2020, time of the change, time of the vision, it's about 10.49 p.m. Earlier, about uh, 6.48 p.m., I gave you all a video telling you about the number of people that has been killed, not just shot. I'm just talking, I'm just talking about killed, murdered, homicides in Cook County, Chicago, Illinois. Within the city limits, not speaking of the suburbs, uh, I told you all about how many uh, blacks and how many uh, Spanish people was killed out of the 677 people that was murdered in Cook County alone since January the 1st of 2020 all the way up until uh, September 2, this past Tuesday, yesterday, uh, September the 15th. That was just Tuesday. But it had been other homicides since that. They had 677. Now, this is no disrespect to anybody that, that keep up with sports, keep up with the Bears, uh, keep up with, you know, any, any team that you are uh, for, the Packers, the Panthers, whoever you for. You know, there's no there's no disrespect for what I'm finna say. But I bet you uh the average person that know the score and I heard the Bears won. I'm originally from Chicago. I like St. Louis and I like Chicago. Cause I've been down here in in Missouri for uh twenty four years now. But I bet you the person anybody that watched it the Bears game can tell me what the score was. Anybody watched any of these other games, they can tell me what the score was. But I don't think any of them can tell me how many blacks was murdered since January the 1st, 2020, all the way up to today. Or yesterday, Tuesday, September the uh, 15th, 2020. 677 out of the 677 uh 500 let me see was it five it was 500 and I, I lost the count I believe it was 500 and maybe 65 that was uh in within the city limits of Chicago Out of that 565, uh, 500 in uh, 21, I mean, out of the out of the uh, 667, uh, this, yeah, the seat six. Uh, uh, give me get it right. 677, 521 was black, and 102 was uh Spanish. And when you add both of those up, you get I believe a 520 uh what is it? 20 520 uh 4. Now well five yeah 520 23 brother. Let me get my math right. Uh I'm getting old y'all. But then you out of that, out of that five hundred and twenty-four, you and and you have the others that's left out of that, and they they others white or whoever else. Now take a good look at what's going on. Not just this is in Chicago alone, y'all. You know there's been murders in other cities and states. There's probably murders going on right now. And I'm not blaming nobody in particular, but it's enough of us that care. I'm not talking about the actors now. 
You see, let me let me let me give you some little common sense. And this this is not against anybody in particular. But now when Whitney Houston died, may she rest in peace. If any of you all can remember when they had the funeral on TV, you had Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, you had all these politicians. Now, they knew she had a habit. And where were they at when she was alive? James Brown, I think he had a funeral for a month, going to different days, taking his body to different places. You had all these same people. You had hundreds of thousands of people. You have thousands of people at both of these individuals' funerals. Are these activists? Now, when James Brown was having his bad times when he was in the jailhouse, <laughs> what was they at? They was nowhere around. Now, if you take a serious close-up look, now I'm going over here to the jail right now, about a jailhouse, y'all. The police station, they just remodeled it. It has at least, I mean, they spent it. Look at all these cars here, y'all. Can't solve no crimes in the black neighborhood. Uh, but now, I want you to take a close-up look at when a politician died. John Lewis, for instance. May rest in peace. Did you see how all them people came together? When Kobe Bryant died, did you see all them people come together? Now, may they rest in peace to each his own. But what I'm just trying to show you, when a three-year-old baby get killed in the crossfire, ain't did nothing. Ain't Don't have no money. Don't too many people be concerned about that. You know, a person like me get killed down here in southeast Missouri, it'll be a lot of people happy. Not all, but it, I know the... I know law enforcement will be happy. I know the active criminals that work hand in hand with the law enforcement uh, here in, in Charles, Missouri, Mississippi County. They'll be happy. I know the NAACP and uh, mostly all the black preachers and white preachers down here. They'll be happy. But let me tell you something. You can tell your real leaders, your real leaders going to be getting attacked verbally, physically, getting locked up unjustly. You can tell your actors. You see, it's a guy on 79th and Halstead in Chicago sometime this week, a few days ago, giving out free Haron, y'all. But guess what the Haron was doing? Anybody know the thing about fentanyl? I believe they said it's supposed to be a uh, 50% potent in the Haron itself. These people was falling out. These people was falling out, y'all. Soon when they took it. And luckily or, or blessedly, uh, it was some people out there that was concerned seeing them falling out after this individual gave them this, this Haron. And called the ambulance, and the ambulance, the, the paramedics was able to save them. Now, see, in some places, in some black neighborhoods, they look at individuals like that as heroes because they sell the poison, killing our people in our community. Then they may have little events for you, for your children, and then y'all all happy. They bring y'all a few bags of free food and y'all all happy. But yet when a white man take a gun, they got a badge and shoot down a black guy, you attack everything. And if the shoe fit where? In other words, uh, black people, when them politicians, well, let's go to the teachers. When the teachers don't get enough money, what do they do? They're not concerned about the students anymore. They're concerned about their pay. 
We got to be concerned about our neighborhood. We the one got to come out our houses in some of these black neighborhoods. You see what I'm saying? Where it ain't safe because blacks is killing blacks. Obama, Michelle, and they two daughters, they don't have to worry about it. They in Massachusetts. In Martin ben a Vineyard. You see what I'm saying? In a 17 point some million dollar house. All these other presidents like Obama, they don't have to worry too much because they have CIA agents that's guarding them for the rest of their life. But when the teachers go on strike, who gets, who suffers? The children suffers. You see what I'm saying? But the teachers going on strike because they want more money. When the Democrats and the Republicans get into some type of disagreement, what do they do? They walk out. How many of them you think, how many of them teachers, how many do? How many of them are, are, are state representatives or how many of them are senators? How many of them you think going to walk out when a poor little black person gets shot and killed because somebody is shooting at somebody else? How many of you, them you think, how many of y'all think on them is, uh, is they going to uh, protest? Now they went to, to, to uh, honor the 57 year of Martin Luther King March on Washington. That's over with. What are they doing now? Two times they had a million man march in Washington. That's over with. What's happening now? They had a million uh, 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 women march. They had uh, women's rights. They have all these other things. But what about the people? You see what I'm saying? that they consider nobodies. I'm all the way down here in Missouri, but when I hear about a little child getting killed, a little child getting raped or kidnapped, I'm going to speak up. I'm not an actor. If I was, I would took me and my family down to Hollywood. I'm an activist. An activist that don't get paid by man. God pays me. I don't get paid for my YouTubes. But I just want to say this here, y'all. Just think about all them tickets that you buying for these football, basketball, hockey games to each his own. I don't I don't knock you for it, but I'm just going to say this here. Some of these people don't care about us, man. Michael Jackson made it in his song. I'm going to leave it at that. Peace be still.